Here we have a new 2024 GMC Sierra 1500. Now this one comes in the Denali Ultimate trim level, so fully decked out. We have the white frost tri-coat paint and then the Alpine Umber leather interior. For the powertrain, we get the 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine. That's made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. And so far, not seeing any big changes as opposed to the 23 Denali Ultimate, but we'll check it out. And you all let me know in the comments if anything has changed. But to the front end here, we get that same signature galvanized grille, which I love. LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights, and LED fog lights. Sorry for the glare, that's just how it is around here these days. But just love that front end, it looks fantastic. But down here, we do get 22 inch aluminum wheels. The signature Denali Ultimate look there, you can see that on the Yukons as well. Passive keyless entry on the front two doors. Power door lock controls are here, memory seat functions. We have one touch automatic up and down windows for the front. Then we have express down windows for the back. We have our power mirror controls here, rear window lock, and then we do have power folding side mirrors with blind spot monitors. And to this door panel, I just love it. And I've said this before, the wood grain, then the kind of cowhide look there, just, it looks fantastic. We get a Bose premium sound system, electronic parking brake, press to engage to the brake, press it again to disengage. We can go through our full four wheel drive controls there. And then we have drive modes, which include normal sport, off road. And then we also have our headlamp controls and all that there. Heads up display controls, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, hood release. And there is our 16 way power driver seat. We do get massage function as well as four way power lumbar support there. I love the look of these seats. GM did a good job across all of the Ultimates and the GMC brand just with this beautiful looking interior. But a big shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for letting me review this truck today. I'll leave a link below in the description. But tow figures are there, conventional 8,900 pounds max, and then payload max is 1415. And then I'll let you look at this window sticker. It's behind some tinted glass, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but I'm gonna go down Y'all can pause anywhere you need to to take a closer look at the standard features. And I'll actually see if I can get the full window sticker in the description below. And I should be able to do that, so I'll just skip over here. Super Cruise Tri-Fold Hard Tonneau Cover, the White Frost Tri-Coat, the Wheel Arch Moldings, Rear Seat, or Rear Under Seat Storage, excuse me. All of that comes out to $90,200 MSRP. So, I mean, it's not as much as a Yukon Denali Ultimate, which is another 10 grand, but let's check this out. So having that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs, still great leg room back here. I love the seat back pockets. They feel very nice, very premium. And then we have three stage heated outboard seats, rear AC vents, and a USB-C, USB-A charge port. Bottle holders are there. And then this middle seat, fold that down, bottle holders are here. And I love the kind of suede Alcantara headliner there. And by the way, the headroom back here is crazy. Well, let's go ahead and make our way towards the back. And I believe the child lock is on, so I'm gonna do this. Luckily, the rear window wasn't locked. That would have been something. And then engage that child lock, just pull it to the right side, pull it to the left side to unlock. And let's look at this rear seat storage before I forget, or the under seat storage, excuse me. So what you do is you just pop this up here and there's all that additional space. And then you also have storage within the actual seat if you wanna use that. So I like having all that additional storage for whatever you may have. Fuel fillers there. As we come around to the back end, we do get our LED tail lamps. And I just love the badging for the Denali Ultimates. Love, love that. We have the integrated dual exhaust. Spare tire underneath there. So I'm gonna fold this all the way out for y'all. We do get that multi-step tailgate. And then we have the kicker sound system embedded here, standard as well. And then you can just walk up in there grabbing that handle. Again, we get that tri-fold hard tonneau cover with this one in particular. I believe that is an $1,100 option. And there, it's, there it is back in its original position. 
But I mean, a mean looking truck, especially in this white frost tri coat. But our front passenger seat here, we get that same adjustability where we can adjust the four way power lumbar, the massage function, and all of that. And so sorry for the glare, but gosh, I love this interior. Now we have a lockable glove compartment down here, and then nice wood grain here. And there's our top cubby that's carpeted there. And I'm going a little slower on this review than usual just because I want to take all of this in. It's partly my fault. I just think this is a gorgeous truck. And there's so much to see. 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat next. So nice leather wrap steering wheel here. There's the horn. Over here to the new Google Assistant system, the new word Google Assistant system, I should say. We do get AM, FM, XM, Bluetooth, Google News, Alexa, and Google Podcasts. We also have the Google Maps, which is available with a subscription. And then you get the wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto compatibility. Now with this one being loaded out, you do get front camera, backup camera, curbside view cameras, and then my favorite, the bed view camera. And then when you have your trailer hooked up, you get a few extra goodies there as well. And volume knob can be adjusted here. Click that to mute, home button. And then we do get dual zone automatic climate controls and I'll just cut that on so y'all can see it real quick. So that's what the knobs look like. You can adjust the temperature, sink and unsink. And then we do have three stage heated cool front seats. And that's where our heated steering wheel button is because of the Super Cruise, we couldn't fit it on the steering wheel itself. But lane keep assist, parking sensors, auto stop toggle. We can lower that tailgate, hazards, traction control, downhill brake control. And then this button will pull all of the windows down at once. We do get a Wi-Fi hotspot. And then in our settings here, I can go ahead and toggle the phone connections. So I can add phone. It gives you a list on how to actually pair your phone. It's pretty easy to do anyway. And then we also have system settings here so we can change our language there if you want to change the french or spanish and then we also have the ability to go through our team driver rear seat reminder buckle to drive and then even turn on or off the super cruise lane change so i like to keep that off because i just on the test drives it doesn't really help me because i have to stay in one lane for the majority of the time but again backup camera front camera when you actually put it in gear that's how you can pull that up now for the shifter, pull down for drive when your finger's on that button there. You can tap for low. You do have paddle shifters behind the steering wheel for towing. You can go ahead and adjust that limiter. It'll show you what gear you're in in that bottom right corner. Then you can just tap up for neutral, hit the button, pull all the way up for reverse, press this P for park, trailer brake controller, USB-C, USB-A port, bottle holders, and then I do have a wireless charging pad here and a 120 volt three prong USB-C, USB-A charging port there. And then we do have a removable tray. You can see it's tons of space in there and I can just put that there. Rear camera mirrors here, off, on. We do have a power sliding rear window. And then the manual sunshade is back for the roof. I can tilt or slide. And this is one touch going back. So pretty nice there. And again, all the controls for all that's there, including the home remote. And there is the vanity mirror. That looks fantastic. Now back to the steering wheel. This is the Super Cruise indicator. So when that's green or blue, it'll let you know when you can use it or when it's activated. And then the actual sensor is there to make sure you're paying attention. And behind the steering wheel on the left side, trackless or radio station favorites can be adjusted. On the right side, volume can be adjusted up, down. And then left side stock blinkers. We have one time intermittent low high for the wipers. And then you can hit the auto high beam toggle there. Front wiper fluid is here. When the low beams are on, you can toggle the high beams there and flash there. And then the paddle shifters again behind the steering wheel. Cruise control, we do have adaptive so we can toggle that there. Cancel, set the speed, for collision alert, as well as the adaptive cruise gap adjust is there. And then for the super cruise, you just hit that button to activate it. Voice recognition, mute, and we can use the scroll bar to go through our gauge cluster. So I'm gonna change these lower gauges to maximum and then I can change the units of measurement if I want to there. 
and then info page option i'm going to turn off trip to turn off the timer turn on fuel economy and then we do have that heads up display i'm gonna see if i can get a view of it turn the brightness up now I'm gonna zoom in there it doesn't flash like that that's just how my camera's picking up the screen but there are your four views there and then we have our push button start right here finally here is the key fob with remote start and next is time we take this 2024 sierra 1500 Den denali ultimate out on the road for a test drive so starting the test drive in this sierra denali ultimate a very capable truck of course i saw i showed you the trailering numbers earlier and then on top of that just having a the power you get from the 6.2 liter v8 it's just a very strong vehicle now it's about what it's the friday before christmas so the traffic is terrible people aren't paying attention so i'm actually taking a different route than i'm used to going just because the traffic's so backed up but where this also shines is the comfort you get. Now these full size Sierras and Silverados, they ride well anyways, but then just having the magnetic ride control, everything that comes with a, a $91,000 pickup truck, it just makes the ride that much better. I'm that much more comfortable in this 16 way power driver seat with the massage function. I'm just, uh, I'm having a good time right now. And I just feel, just seeing the steering wheel, having the super cruise indicator there, and then just seeing the trim throughout, it's, it's very, very luxurious. And honestly, under light acceleration, light throttle, it's, it has a very nice rumble to it that's strong, yet, quiet so i don't feel like i'm in a, a muscle truck until i put my foot to the floor and then i'm like oh yeah i do have a 6.2 liter v8 here and in terms of the wind noise right now it does tend to I shouldn't say it tends to pick up, but especially when I'm in more open areas, I can hear the wind a bit more. Not necessarily bothersome, but noticeable. And honestly, right now, the road noise is not an issue, even with these bigger 22 inch wheels. And it's just a nice controlled, again, comfortable ride in this pickup. Now, with this being an extended test drive, I am going to go ahead and just talk about how it takes these curves here. I'm going to check out here in a moment. So taking that sharp curve there, I did not feel a body roll at all. So that was impressive. I've got another sharp one coming up here. And in the normal mode, what's crazy is the steering is very, very impressive. I just feel like I'm able to have a nice grip on the steering wheel while still being able to not necessarily have a rocky driving experience. Yeah, it's just, it's impressive taking this truck around these corners and not, really not feeling anything. And hopefully you can tell by the camera just how smooth this thing drives. I'm going to test out our auto stop here. 
like coming to a complete stop. And there it is. And I'm gonna give it just a little pull getting on the interstate here. The fuel gauge told me when I left the, the parking lot four miles ago that I had 47 miles of range and now it just says low. So I don't want to test it, but I am going to give it a bit getting on the interstate here. So we'll give it a little throttle here. And that was barely even anything because this van is not going. But again, as it took that curve, just so impressive how there's very little movement in the cabin, or at least from me in the cabin. I'm gonna activate Super Cruise here in a minute. There it is. So I have the lane centering going. I have the adaptive cruise. I did turn the auto lane change off, but that's okay. And it's just being a little wonky here, but it does give you like every warning here to let you know, hey, I'm about to disengage. So I don't know why it's doing that, if it can't see me or, yeah, it's saying it can't see my face clearly. So if I lower the steering wheel, I should be good. But yeah, if the sensor doesn't see you, it will disengage after a while. No big deal though. You kind of saw how it worked. Now for the price point at around $91,000 compared to an F-150 Limited, I don't know. But here, I do feel like I get, for a luxury truck, a premium, just top of the line luxury truck, I feel like I get a lot for the money. And with that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali Ultimate.